Gold Investor Week uh, was started last year and then uh, from 1st of uh, October to 7th we are again marking this year's World Investor Week. And there's a reason why uh, uh, there's a drive uh, for the investors to come and share their views and uh, bring a lot of people into it to make sure that people have the necessary uh, uh, skills to um, safeguard their uh, hard-earned money and also uh, invest their money uh, and time for the uh, profitable things. So uh, basically I, I believe it's a very, very important week and uh, I think uh, we need to drive it nationally as well. When you hear about the word investment, you uh, certainly think it's more to do with economics. But if you really relate it to education, uh, investment uh, is related to education as well. So when we educate students, uh, we try to make sure that they are fully equipped to deal with the difficulties and the struggles they may face in the future. One of the things that we think uh, is very important for, for the future is financial literacy. As you know, uh, the world is uh, becoming very small due to the technology, due to the uh, development in commerce and many other business related activities. So the international uh, links uh, uh, everywhere and uh, when we receive emails uh, with a lot of appealing content and when people call us uh, through international uh, numbers, uh, we are again very attracted to uh, those talks. But the question is, whether people uh, uh, would call us for no reason uh, taking an international call. And uh, what we need to learn as students, as uh, teachers, is that we need to uh, educate the students on these uh, very, very dangerous scams. Uh, like Warren Buffett uh, said, uh, the more you learn, uh, the more you earn. I believe that uh, he is referring to financial literacy. Uh, when people are more aware of uh, how uh, people earn money and how much time it takes, how much uh, work it takes uh, people to earn money and then what needs to be done to uh, multiply the earning, uh, whether you are um, taking an insurance uh, scheme or whether you are uh, saving your money, uh, whether you are investing your money uh, into something, uh, it all requires a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, education. So in that regard, I think from grade one onwards, the students need to uh, learn uh, what money is, how people earn money and uh, what are the threats that they may face in future if they are not very careful and educated about different schemes that are happening in the world. So uh, I think like uh, the literacy and numeracy skills that we learn in schools, uh, financial literacy is also equally important uh, for the students surviving in future. Uh, if you really uh, read about uh, great investors like uh, Warren Buffett. Uh, you know very well that he started uh, with uh, hundred dollars and then uh, went on to become a 30 billion dollar investor. Uh, and that's a fact and uh, he has written a lot about financial literacy and financial education. And uh, uh, since he, he has had a lot of uh, setbacks in his life and also uh, successful uh, times in his life. He just uh, doesn't want to others to repeat those mistakes. So basically uh, he asks students uh, 
to read more because the more you read, the more aware you are and uh, you will be in a better position to take uh, rational decisions, sensible decisions uh, when it comes to uh, spending or investing or even earning money. With a uh, lot of information uh, from authentic sources, you are in a better uh, position to understand these things. Sometimes uh, when the family faces uh, health uh, difficulties, uh, maybe one of the members having uh, uh, to do a surgery which requires a lot of money, uh, the family finds it difficult to send uh, the person um, to get a better uh, medication or better uh, health uh, service uh, because we don't have uh, enough money. So in that regard I think uh, budgeting plays an important role for any family because uh, at initial stage when you start earning, uh, if you start saving uh, maybe in different forms like uh, uh, for example if you take different schemes like a health insurance like education related insurance, like house related insurance, disaster related insurance, then you uh, allocate some funds for these areas and then uh, you spend 20 to 30 years time, by the time your kids grow up, uh, you know that you spent your money wisely, therefore you have saved enough you have insured your kids in different areas and then uh, you get the benefit of those uh, work that you did in terms of budgeting. If you look at the behavior of uh, the people in terms of uh, uh, how they spend their money, we can very well say that we live on credit. Uh, it's very easy to get credit cards of some value uh, if you earn some amount of money. Likewise, there are so many schemes where you can uh, take uh, commodities on credit. And also, uh, you have housing loans, you have uh, uh, professional premium loans. Uh, so many names are there. So the I think the work that the uh, financial institutions do is to make uh, life easier and then uh, 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 get their businesses to the next level. So for that reason, they work so hard to introduce many different uh, schemes and uh, uh, certain uh, other uh, appealing things for the consumers and uh, if you look at our society I think uh, we are more of a consumer society uh, where we, we live for the day. If you earn uh, 50,000 rufia per month you probably spend 60,000 rufia uh, on that month alone so definitely there's no saving that uh, for you to invest. Uh, you're waiting for the next month's salary to spend uh, and uh, pay back the money that you have taken for loans and other things. So it's very uh, important uh, for us to uh, save money and then uh, spend uh, what is left for other things. So these days what uh, we understand is that people uh, actually mistake the wants as needs and then whatever they have is always spent for, for the wants, not the needs actually. So uh, I think any family to be respectable and decent and uh, uh, not uh, waiting uh, for something to happen to react to your needs you should plan ahead and make sure that uh, your life is well planned uh, so that you are prepared for any emergencies.